So why do we hold in the first place? And that's a good question. And what happens is usually at very busy airports when there's a lot of aircraft traffic coming in, ATC cannot handle all this traffic at once. So they say, hey, hey, wait a minute. How about you hold over there? Unlike in a car where you can just pull over to the side of the road because maybe the road is closed because of some closures, but in an airplane, we wanna wait it out in the most efficient way possible. Let's look at the three main type of hold entry patterns. So the first type of hold entry pattern we're gonna look at is the direct entry. This is the easiest hold entry to follow because you're going to be approaching in the direction of the inbound track. You're going to fly directly to the fix and then just make the right hand turn into the hold. So for example, the airplane is going to fly directly to the fix. You're going to make a right hand turn until you're a beam the VOR fix, fly outbound for a period of one minute. Again, make another turn until you intercept the radial inbound and then fly directly to the fix again. And you're going to do this over and over again until you you reach your expect further clearance time on your ATC clearance. So now that you know the direct entry, the other type of hold entry we're going to look at is the offset entry. With this type of hold entry, you're going to approach from the opposite side of the fix, go directly to the fix, fly outbound at a 30 degree angle, turn around, and then fly inbound directly to the fix. And then once you reach the fix, you're going to keep circling again to the right in a racetrack pattern. And now finally, the other type of hold entry pattern is going to be the parallel entry. With this type of entry, you're being very careful because you don't want to fly into the unprotected side of the airspace. Let's assume the left-hand side of this racetrack pattern is the unprotected side. Maybe there's an obstacle or restricted airspace. So we do not want to fly there. So we actually want to hug the inbound track in a parallel way and then turn inbound just to stay in the protected airspace which is going to be on the right hand side. So again, for the parallel entry, just like the offset entry, we're going to be approaching from the other side of the fix. And then we're going to fly directly to the fix, fly outbound parallel to the inbound course, and then make a left hand turn and keep the turn going. We're going to keep that turn going until we start going directly back to the fix. And now once we're at the fix, we're going to make a right hand turn again and keep flying that racetrack pattern. Now a tip for real life, just make sure you have enough gas to last that entire expect for the clearance time. I've had it in real life as a captain where ATC gave us such a long expect for the clearance time where we did not have enough gas on board. I waited for the amount of holding fuel we had on board given by our dispatcher and then I diverted to the alternate. So just a pro tip, Always compare the gas you have on board with the expect for the clearance time given by ATC. Now let me tell you something about holes that you probably won't hear anywhere else but I'll tell it to you on this video and that is protected airspace. There's a reason why the holding patterns are a certain direction. If it's a standard turn it's gonna be a right hand turn and if it's a non-standard hole it's gonna be a left hand turn. If you fly the hold entry on the wrong side you could potentially be in an unprotected airspace situation where you're flying maybe close to an obstacle or maybe in restricted airspace. So always make sure you're flying in the protected airspace. So hopefully this video cleared things out for you. You know why we enter the hold now. It's just to give ATC more time to accommodate you. We want to do it really efficiently as possible in the least amount of turns while staying in the protected airspace. So hopefully this clears things up and I'll see you on the next lesson.